Good morning. Today we're going to do a video on my 2015 XL 1200 Sportster. Great bike. But it's hard to get good batteries for these bikes for some reason. I'm trying this new battery. It's called Hard Drive. I bought it on eBay. It's $100. And uh, let's do a review on it. We're going to install it. All right. Here's the battery we will be installing. Hard drive, ready to ride. You know what? It was $91 with tax, came out to $99 on eBay. And uh, it looks pretty good. First thing we'll do is let's test it. And I did put it on a charger overnight as they recommended. All right, here it is, a hard drive battery. I like this battery, but when I seen it, I did a little research, it sounds good, a one year warranty, 240 crank amps, eBay, $91. This is what got my attention. I put it on the slow drip charger for about a day. Now, I like this brass on these terminals. I just have had with those lead ones just seem to fail but let's check out the voltage let's put this ohm meter on 20 dc okay positive i'd like to see 12 8 i really like to see 13. all right we got 12.95 that's great that's great now let's install this battery and see what she does First thing we want to do is remove the seat. Phillips head in the back, and this is a 2015. Sometimes these batteries can be a bit of a pain. Never mind, I think you did. You gotta push, put one hand on the bag, push this up, and then this clip, and that clip. That's what will give you a little resistance. Now what you want to do is remove this side covers. On the newer models, you'll see it's just a clip. It's pretty decent. Work it up. You can take a look under there. You'll see. It's pretty basic. And now we'll put this aside. You want to just remove this. It's on by Velcros. Place it down. Now what you're left with is a 3 8 that holds this bracket in place. You'll see it right there. Get yourself an extension, 3H drive, 3H socket. Take your time. Shouldn't be that tight. Piece by piece. As you notice, this strap ties into right on the top of the bracket. Work it up, push it in slightly, finagle it around. Now, with a 10 millimeter, I got this little ratchet. It's a great little tool to have around. We will loosen the ground first. And that keeps you safe because when you loosen the positive, if your tool hits the frame, it will be still grounded and cause an arc. So let's take care of this first. My Phillips said, you don't gotta worry about the ground hitting the frame, because that is all grounded. We have the wire for our trickle charger. Let me put this aside. Now we got our negative down below, so this won't interfere. This is your negative post, clear the frame. Now you can slide this out a little bit. Here's your fuse for your trickle charger. Now being careful, not, you can touch this to this, you can't get hurt. But just be conscious of the wires. You'll see one, two, three. One is the trickle charger, one's the starter, and one's the electronics. Okay. Take it out nice and carefully and take a good look at what you got there. A lot of times I'll take a little clip like this. So, you know, I've seen it before. People just forget about this one and that's your electronics and just clip it together like that and you know this is 
for your trickle charger. All right, with that, we're done unhooking the battery. Now all we have to do is slide it out. Nice and even. This is what I'm talking about, these lead connectors. The battery posts are made out of lead. The hardware, it's sort of a pain. Let's get the new one. Now here's my new one. What I like to do is compare the two. Now you can see the lead post, the brass post. This is fully flush. This is not. This is solid. It looks great. Now we know. Now let's check our width. That's the same. Positive, positive. No problems there. The length, the same. So we're in good shape. Let's install. While we have the chance, let's just blow off any dust. Now, with a wire brush, I want to clean the ground lead first. All right, that's nice. Now we had one for the trickle charger. That looks pretty good, but can't hurt. Now what I want to do, and I want to do the same to the positive side. A little yellow clip. Take your time. Every little bit to make the connection better can only help. Even though it's a 2015 bike, but if you're going to do it and check everything that looks good, yeah, everything looks good. No problems there. All right, I'm going to grab the battery. And this is what I was talking about. This is nice, real nice. All right, that's the positive side. Let's just slip it in. Make sure all our wires are out of our way. And by checking everything, size, length, no surprises. This is the top of the bike. And we're installing the positive first. If we were to install the ground first, you could have an arc or a short. When installing the positive first, you can move this out and you could be in the center of the frame so you ain't fighting yourself. So I got the hardware. Remember, we got these two and the positive charging lead. And this is to your trickle charger, which I highly recommend. Okay, that's one, two, three, and just get a hand started. I gotta say, they're getting better and better with these newer Harleys. Sometimes these Sportsters can be a real pain. All right. With your Phillips head, you can get in there. You don't got to worry about arcing because the ground is not hooked up. Make sure your wires are nice. Here's my trickle charger, which I highly recommend. They're great. And nice. That wasn't bad at all. I, I think I, I like this battery, but the test will be when we start it. These bikes are notorious for lazy starts, which really drives me crazy. That's why on my Road King, I use the Lightning battery. They just 500 crank amps. It's beautiful, you know? You go to Holly, they'll tell you, oh, that's too much. That's like telling somebody they got too much money in the bank. Come on now. You only use what you need. Let's get down to the negative side. All right, here's the negative. I'm gonna take my little clip out of here. We don't need that. I got my hardware. And for the negative side, Here's my trickle charger. Let's loop it under. So everything's nice and neat. All right, the ground is down here. This wraps across. I'm sorry about the hands, but you're gonna like these batteries because they're flush. Makes a big difference. I, I, you guys know what I'm talking about. A lot of these batteries, you gotta put a spacer in there. Holly got the lead, they're not bad, but for the sportsters, they just seem inadequate. They just don't have the kick. All right. You don't got to worry about its ground. Your positive is all safe. And this is healthy. But the real test is starting it. All right. Let's turn the key. 
All right, sounds good. Let's start it. Neutral. The old battery was so weak, I tried to start it probably half a dozen times with the charger on it, and uh, it would read green. The light would read green. I just wouldn't start it. So the system's probably a little loaded up. What we'll do is let's put this together, and then we'll give it another start. So we know everything's hooked up right because she starts pretty decent. Let's now push the battery all the way in. And now we got our bracket. That goes under the cable, clips in, and there you go. Make sure you use the right one because if you use a battery hardware, it'll work, but it's not right. This is standard, and the other one's a 10 millimeter. It's just about, but it's not right. Now take your time. Okay, let's get it in there. There we go. Don't get crazy. Nice and square. I see so many people strip these, put the wrong hardware in there. It's just a ton of stuff that don't have to. Take your time. This just goes by Velcros. This wire goes like that. And you see, everything's nice. Everything is nice. Now, to put the cover back on. Now, you might have to get on your knees. You got this little clip here, and that goes on this bottom clip. Just finagle it in there. After a while, you'll get the hang of your bike. There's your charging port. Everything all right, all back in spot in the place. The seat could be a pain, just remember, slide the front end, and you're going to notice with one hand on the bag, you just want to be careful, you don't want to scratch this, and you see it's pretty easy. Let's get our Phillips head in there, nice, all right, let's try to start it again, key is on. Neutral, fuel pump. in 2019 I couldn't turn it down I bought it non-running so we're gonna have to get some of the bugs out of here I figured let me do a Sportster battery video all right let's give her a start it's gonna get better and better this bike really did Supposedly this has a stage one kit from Hawley, the pipes, the intake, and the program, the fuel program. All right, guys, if you have any questions, just ask. If you want to know where the battery came from, I'll send you the link. And if you could, leave a comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Ride safe, and have a great day.